everyone is still talking about Grietta. 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 Okay, fine. I'm going to talk about her too. Here's what's up. So, why was she able to come into the country? And if she did, because some say she was already here. Some say she flew in. The wiki says that she flew in. So, I'm going to say she came to this country. She wasn't stopped at the border. I wonder what made her come into the country. What allowed her to come in without, you know, getting raped, beaten, killed, humiliated, shunned, shamed, deported, or anything like that? I wonder. I don't know. It could be the complexion, you know. But that's not all because she ain't out the woods. Oh, no, 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 no. See, that got her in the country. Now she gets in and she gives a great speech and she shuns Congress. She shuns the president. She shuns the United States of America, rightfully, justfully so. But here's the thing. She hasn't said anything different than any of the minorities have been saying for a couple of decades. She hasn't said anything that what we demonized as tree huggers and hippies have been saying since the mid to late 60s. She hasn't said anything different than environmentalists have been saying since the 70s. She hasn't said anything different than anyone else has been saying for the past five years. She has done the same thing that everyone else has done. And might I add, she is definitely being heard. Because in this room of theater, because that's all it is, she's just a, someone to sit up there as a prop and definitely entertain the masses of wealthy when she shuns everyone. And at the end, they give her a rounding applause. Because when she leaves, the show is over and it's back to business as usual. So when Congress is done, when whoever was listening is done, they will just forget what she said because what she said isn't important. Why? It ain't the color of her skin. It's simply the fact that though she's white, she's not American. Nope, she's not American. She's not the hated Americans in the South. She's not the hated Americans in the North. She's just simply not American. Simple as that. She is from Sweden. She has an accent. That expresses she is not as important. The fact that she's white means she won't get killed, beaten up or anything. And she's great to be a good poster child for whatever this situation is, which is nothing more than a rerun. That's it. As great as a thing she said and as a, as a very powerful and, and very, very brave thing she did, it means nothing because her discourse and her rhetoric and everything about her is no different than anyone else has been for the past five decades that I can think of. So when Congress leaves and is back to business, it's the same thing for us. She's the flavor of the month. We've listened to her. We, we nodded our heads. We applauded. We clapped. And then it's back to disagreeing with everyone and not listening to anyone and being mad at what Congress is and is not doing, although we don't know the full ins and outs. We just know that when it's all said and done at the end of each business day, each business week, every quarter after every single time they go on break, nothing changes, nothing changes, nothing changes. And we beat our heads against a brick wall, which is not just them, but ourselves, inciting that we need change, change that we won't make within ourselves so that we can see it outside of ourselves. And that is all that's ever happened. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.